Travis Scott put out three of the best sneaker collaborations of 2019. Is this Air Jordan 6 the best? Let us know in the comments. Let's take a closer look. Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott. Uh, before we do that, just do us a quick favor, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and let's get going. So as we mentioned before, uh, Travis Scott put out three of the best collabs of 2019, this six being one of them. And of course the Air Jordan 1 high and the low were heavily sought after, uh, resale prices are nuts. It's like the issue of 2019, both of them, whichever one you wanna choose. But now our focus is on the six, this is the third one of 2019. We're just gonna go over some basic release info. From what we know, the release is happening in September and right now the rumored date is September 14th. Of course, there's a chance that Travis will do a surprise early drop through his personal website or there's gonna be some sort of sneakers stash or sneakers pass or whatever you guys wanna call it. There's gonna be different tiers to this release. There just is no one release date for this shoe. That's just how it's been for Travis Scott's shoes. Of course, we're gonna do our best to keep you guys updated with all the information that can be found in the description below. So now we're just going to show you a closer look at the shoes. The upper is primarily the suede material, you know, nothing really new to Air Jordan 6s, you know, infrareds, that black nubuck, and that's changed over the years. And a lot of the PEs for Macklemore and college PEs and whatnot were all built with this soft suede material, but it's the add-ons that make these quite interesting. You know, the tongue is built with this durable canvas material. That's something very common with like military garb. Of course, there's this exterior stow pocket that kind of looks like what you would see on cargo pants or apparel worn by, you know, people in the military or paratroopers or whatnot. And it opens up with a simple button clasp. Nice little hidden detail, the Cactus Jack uh, smiley face. And in here you can put in whatever you want cash, weed, you know, marbles, whatever you want to fit in here. It's, it's, it's for you and for you only. Let's look at the heel real quick. Again, another Cactus Jack cross logo appears on the heel. The other shoe has Nike Air, so we'll show you that closer in a little bit. Medial side, again, probably the simplest part about the entire shoe is just the solid olive green suede and the two-tone black with the sail. The outsole is indeed glow in the dark, and we're just going to show you that closer in just a little bit. Classic infrared jump man on the sole. And now going back to the tongue, we did say that it is built with like a durable canvas type of material. Again, something you see in a lot of military gear. And if you fold down the uh, lace shroud, you do see again, the cactus jack embroidered onto the tongue. Quick shot of the left shoe. Again, like we mentioned, same stow pocket, same canvas material, same cactus jack embroidered on the tongue. This lace lock does have, again, the Cactus Jack on the heel is again that Nike Air. So again, not too many Air Jordan 6s have had Nike Air. Kind of interesting because the Air Jordan 4s didn't really have Nike Air on the back, only the, the PEs or the friends and family versions did. So pretty interesting for Jordan Brand to give this little detail to Travis Scott. Definitely looks great. The outsole is indeed glow in the dark, which we'll show you right now. Nice little touch. We're not entirely sure if it's really necessary to a Travis Scott shoe. The glow in the dark is kind of too contrasting toward the, the drab look of the shoes, like browns and dark greens, and this is clearly some sort of like a military kind of paratrooper sort of theme. So the glow in the dark is kind of a funky decision, but you know, it's still a really popular detail that people in sneakers seem to love. Again, another detail that we might have missed is on the tongue, the exterior face is that same like opaque material that you find on the heel spoiler, but the inside is lined with that same canvas material. So the edges have this sort of uh, sort of tattered look and you can kind of see it through the front of the shoe. And you know, that's pretty much it. You know, this is a shoe that's been heavily previewed. You've seen Travis give closer looks on his personal Instagram. He's been wearing these for a really long time. Again, you know, the takeaways from these are the glow in the dark soles, the exterior stow pockets. And you know, if you're a fan of the Air Jordan 6, you know that what used to be there is that sort of bubble that kind of protrudes outwards. So nice little um, nod to that original detail. And again, right here, both of the uh, Cactus Jack little face logos. So again, what's more important about these is the release date. And from now, what we know is September 14th, but definitely be prepared for surprise drops. You know, Travis loves to do that. Just keep your eyes peeled and stay alert because, you know, every Travis Scott Jordan drop is really hard to get. And um, there's going to be raffles involved and all that kind of stuff. But um, this is it. This is the Jordan 6 Travis Scott. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just check the links below. We're going to constantly update with possible store lists and release information. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll catch you in the next video.